there's no right way, there's no wrong way. It's just my way. And this is perfect for me to share it with you, to talk to you about it, um, with my team, my loved ones, that I'll be retiring from tennis. Ash Barty has made the decision to end her career as a tennis player at the age of 25 as world number one and with three Grand Slam titles to her name. And I'm proud, I'm happy actually. But honestly though, I was initially quite shocked and I think this came as a shock to a lot of people when they first heard it. Like how come Ash is retiring at such a young age? And when she's at the peak of her career and with all due respect to her decision, I think it was a very, very difficult one to make but I do think there's heaps that we can learn from it. I mean, we can learn heaps from her career as a tennis player, but I think also her strength of character and depth of reflection that she's gone into to actually finally come to this decision. So let's unpack that. Welcome to another Chat Chats. If you're new here, my name is Himmel. By the way, my beverage of choice in this video is water because I've had two coffees and I think three different types of teas and it's only like 2 p.m. So. So yeah, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna stick with water for the moment, but you grab whatever you wish you'd like and let's unpack this. From what Ash has mentioned in her interview with Casey Delacqua, it seems like she was ready just to take the next step. And Ash summed it up best. There's no right way, there's no wrong way, there's just my way. And to me that demonstrates an incredible amount of maturity and reflection. In fact, one of the things that really stood out to me in the interview was when she said, there was just a little part of me that wasn't quite satisfied wasn't quite fulfilled. And I'm sure some of you know exactly what that feels like. How we can try our best at something, do extremely well, but then there's some part of us that just kind of yearns for more. And so as I was watching this interview, it was like making me extremely introspection of what my own definition of success is and what is it that I'm actually after in life. And so I wanna ask you this question. I want you to, and I challenge you to think and reflect on it. What is success to you? And the answer to that question is different for many because people want different things out of life. A nice car, a nice house, a beautiful family, a well-paying job, I don't know. But what if you were to take that just a little bit further? Like what if you were to just think about it just a little bit more and ask yourself the question, if I were to achieve everything that I wanted in life, if I were to get the car, the nice house, the nice family, the well-paying job, like if I were to get all these different things, all that I wanted, all the goals and all the dreams, would I still be happy? Would I be satisfied? and fulfilled. And in Ash's case, one of her biggest dreams was to actually win Wimbledon. And she did that. And yet, and yet, she still said this. There was just some part of me that wasn't quite satisfied, that wasn't quite fulfilled. I mean, this is Wimbledon. Now this is not to criticize her at all or anything, but I just found this so interesting. Like what if you were to feel the exact same way after you've achieved everything? Like all the boxes have been ticked, all the milestones have been passed and yet it's not enough. When will it be enough? Like if we don't truly want the car, the nice house, and all these different things, what is it that we're actually after? By the way, none of these things are wrong. Like go for your life, get whatever it is that you want. But I don't know from my experience, and for many people in my life, we strive for things over and over and over again. And we kid ourselves into thinking that this is all that I want. And so we acquire, acquire, achieve milestone after milestone, and we just get lost in this rat race of success thinking that this is all that life has to offer. Now in my life, upon reflection, like I want all these different things because ultimately I want to be happy. Like if I get the nice job, if I get the nice car, if I get the nice girl, then I'll be happy. And where my mind is currently at is that it's thinking that it's definitely going to get happiness from all these different things. But why is it every single time that I get something, every single time that I achieve something, that yes, I do feel a sense of happiness, but it's fleeting and it's not permanent. Underneath it all, what I'm searching for is a feeling. It's a feeling of fulfillment, a feeling of satisfaction. And I think like that's what Ash was talking about. Like that's what, that's what she's after. Like and as though, like although she's achieved all these amazing things at the young age of like 25, right? Um, like this, still, like if she, she, she feels like there's something more at that peak of performance, at that peak of like human achievement, right? Like, what about us? Like how does like, I'm just thinking about it and I'm like, man, this is, this is crazy to even think that someone operating at that type of level can very often feel exactly like how we're feeling. Um, and it kind of like, it really grounds my opinion of her. It makes her just feel like, you know what, she's just, she's just like the rest of us. Like we're just, we're all trying to figure this out and we're all trying to face life and chase a feeling. Um, and I think, like I said before, like a lot of us kid ourselves into thinking that all these things are gonna feel all those, or are gonna fill all those different gaps within us. Um, and maybe we're searching for something that's just a little bit more permanent, that's just a little bit more 
longer lasting. And then we're gonna park that conversation just there for the moment, because I really wanna talk about leaving slash quitting. I remember saying this in a video earlier um, when I quit my job at Apple, um, but I think quitting is like one of the most difficult things ever. And like for a lot of people, not many people are encouraged to quit. Not many people are encouraged to stop, to retire, to finish things. Um, or like actually, well, leave when things aren't finished. Like people aren't encouraged to necessarily do that very often. And I think to actually make that decision and make that jump and actually stop something can be very, very daunting because I think like in, in Ash's in Ash's scenario, I have a feeling that I, like a lot of people might have had the thought of, you know what, you know, she's too so young, she's quitting too early. Or like, you know, she might be thinking, like Ash might be thinking, you know, what are people gonna think? Like, what are people gonna say when I make this decision, quitting at the peak of my career and all that? Like, what, what does that mean for me? What does that mean for my team? What does that mean for my country? And I think for her to go ahead with this decision is incredible. I think for anyone to stop something and they know it's right in their head and their heart, even like despite of what everyone else would say, I think that's an incredibly brave and incredible decision to make. I remember when I first started studying psychology, this was back in like 2019, I hated it. I was so frustrated. Literally every cell in my body was like, no, this is not for me, I hate this. I'm definitely gonna quit and I did. And it took me a good, like a good two or three months to be like, no, like, like to finally follow through with this decision to quit because up until that point, because I prided myself on when I start something, I finish it off. I don't quit, I'm not a quitter. And I feel one of the biggest things that gets in our way of our ability to quit something, our ability to end something, whether it be a relationship, whether it be a course, whether it be, you know, whatever it is that we're leaving from tennis, is this idea that our identity is caught up in the things that we do. Like if I ask you, for example, who are you? There's a very good chance that you tell me your name, your age and what you do. And the moment we strip any of the things that we do away, we can feel lost and we can feel anxious. I know this because that's exactly how I felt when you know the pandemic hit and we went into lockdown. I lost majority of my work and all of a sudden I feel like the things that I do, I could no longer do anymore. So then I was questioning who I was and whether or not this is me because I can't do the things that I'm usually used to doing. So my next question for you is, is who are you without the things that you do? And to add another layer to that, Without all these things that I'm doing, without all these things that I have, would I be satisfied and happy with who I am? I think to answer any of the questions that I mentioned in this video and to really truly dive deep and face what it is that we actually want out of life or to question whether or not that is the actual thing that we want. Is that the purpose behind all our actions? What is, what is it that is actually driving us? I think when we ask ourselves these questions, sometimes the answers that we get may be daunting, may be scary, but I think it's, probably the thing that's closest to the truth and closest to the actual thing that we're searching for. Well, the actual thing that most of us are searching for, happiness. I think what we're seeing with Ash Barty in this decision is amazing. Like it's a true sense of character, of what it means to be successful and what it means to actually own your own decisions. And to be honest, it's making me question how I want to navigate the rest of my life. I genuinely believe we're entering an age where individuals are gonna to have to start becoming a lot more reflective and a lot more introspective. We're gonna to have to start questioning the purpose behind all our actions because there is so much more to life than we currently understand. And even more than that, thank you for being a positive role model. That's it, my friends. I hope this left you with something to think about. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like it and you subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.